Hello, my precious. <laughs> Hello, my precious jewels. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's Julie. And if you like makeup tutorials, makeup hauls, makeup reviews, first impressions, and all things beauty, then you've come to the right channel. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out some new makeup that I purchased during the Sephora Spring Savings event. I did a lot of damage and I was trying to pare down a lot of things before I even showed you guys because some of the stuff like I really just don't need I don't know but anyway hopefully you guys enjoy testing new makeup videos and you will stay tuned for the video I'm gonna be trying out the new Amicole skin melt loose powders you guys have been asking me if I tried them so I picked them up <laughs> my online order came today I'm also gonna be trying this Urban Decay Face Bond waterproof foundation up to 24 hour wear it has 3% niacinamide and it says you can't feel the coverage. Yeah, they came on Instagram and they were talking about it, so I was excited. I'm going to be testing out this Ole Hendrickson Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment because remember I said I was looking for the next best thing when it comes to lip balms. I also have this very popular Tower 28 Serum Corrector. I heard so many people talking about this Tower 28 concealer, so I'm going to be trying that. I have the new Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Press Powder. Ooh. And I'm going to be testing out some blushes and bronzers. Hopefully this sounds like something you guys are interested in seeing and you will stay tuned for the video. I'm going to go off camera and do my brows and then come right back. Because I know that you guys, <laughs> you don't want to see me do my brows again. I did them in the last video. Maybe I will do them. And we'll see how much footage I have and if I need to cut it out. Okay, so I already put this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Gel on my brows. Okay, guys, as you know by now, the Sephora Savings Event has started. If you are a Rouge member, you get 20% off your purchase. If you're a VIB member, you get 15% off your purchase. And if you are a insider, you get 10% off your purchase. Everybody gets 30% off of Sephora collection throughout the whole time of the sale. These brows look a little crazy. That's our brows. They look a little crazy. Like this one is more arched. This one is more rounded. And I actually like the rounded better. Let me see if I can round this one. Okay, so I'm back and my brows are done. I'm going to, first of all, put this new Ula Hendrickson Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment on my lips because my lips are feeling very dry. This is the Cocoa Cream. That's the box that it comes in. It's a 0.4 ounce size squeezy tube. This is the color. Very nice and expensive looking. Who knew that it had such pigment? Okay. It feels good on the lip. That's what the color looks like. And this one is called Cocoa Cream. It feels very, very moisturizing. Glow Beyond the Balm. Smooth, soften, and plump your pout with hydration with this overachieving, deliciously nourishing lip treatment. It's hardworking peptides meet EFAs and antioxidants to help strengthen and bring bounce back to dry lips. It has a six month shelf life and is vegan. Visibly plumps, smooths, and strengthens with cocoa butter, acai, steroids, and peptides. It has a nice, kind of thick texture, but easy to move it's very moisturizing it's not drying like you, it gives a lot of slip to the lips let me just say that that's what i'm meaning it gives a lot of slip to the lips it feels good there's no tingling i don't know about plumping the lips but you guys will tell me because my lips look the same but it feels good on the lips it definitely feels good okay so i'm gonna do my eyes with this master mattes the neutrals by makeup by mario now i've never tried any of makeup by mario's eyeshadow palettes i've always been afraid of them because they look like they're geared towards a lighter complexion so we're gonna try today okay master mattes the neutrals eyeshadow palette it says for mario's exclusive techniques and tips visit makeupbymario.com and then on the back it has Oh, so these are the names. Minute one, minute two, minute three, minute four. So all the way, all the way across, it starts. Minute one, minute two, minute three. Okay, that's cute. These shades are like they are really too light for me, but we're gonna try them anyway. You know, I'm very daring when it comes to an eyeshadow palette because I always want to see what may work for me. I'm excited to try this. All right, I'm gonna go into this Sigma 
Tapered Blending Brush E35. I'm gonna start with this shade right here, and I'm gonna put that all over the lid. Now these definitely have some kickback, but it's okay. We're not afraid of kickback. Let's just see how this shadow shows up on our lids. I definitely see it. I heard a lot about this palette over the years. No, actually, this is the new one. This is the new one, because they have two. They have two palettes. This is the one that just came out, but I bought both. I wanted to see if it was gonna work for my skin tone, because I always hear people talking about how much they love it, how to use it every day, like it's the best neutral palette that they have. And I was like, I don't think it's gonna work for me. The first palette has deeper shades than this one. So if this one works, I'm hoping that the other one works as well. So far I like it. Cause it looks like a lot of these shades, we could do a good amount of looks with this palette. Have you guys shopped the sale? If you did, please drop down in the comments section and let me know what you purchased. If you like this video and you've been to this channel before and you have not subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe. It would definitely help me out and help out the channel. And I want to remind you guys that I do have links for you guys to shop the links, like click the link to take you to Sephora to purchase your items from the sale. It is a affiliate code. I will get a percentage of the sale, which helps out the channel and keeps the channel going. I do like this, but I'm going to go over it with the next deeper color because I think that I made a mistake and put my brush in a darker color. You could tell from this eye. I'll put a little of this deep color right here, this one. So we're gonna go and just put this. This is so good. And these are all mattes, if I didn't say that. I think I did, I said master mattes, but these are all matte shadows. And so far, I'm loving. Just the way this one shadow is looking, it's really good. Look at that. A nice amount of pigment, okay. So we're gonna go into, I found a lot of my brushes. <laughs> Cause I was like, where are all my brushes? But I had packed them when I went away. I didn't unpack the bag. Okay, so anyway, this is a Morphe M441. I'm gonna go into this shade right here. Cause we don't wanna have to use the darkest shade in the palette to get us what we're looking for. So let's go here and see. These shadows are definitely very powdery. They have a lot of kickback, a lot of kickback. They do blend nicely. I'm gonna go into something a little bit darker. All right, I'm gonna use this Morphe R39, and I'm just gonna go into this. I'm gonna mix this black with this one and see. I don't know why the bristles, the bristles on this, this brush right here are so stiff. Maybe I never used it before. I like that. And you only need a little teeny bit of this black because it packs a nice punch. I just wanna add a little bit more of this lighter color on the lid. So that's what we have. And we're just gonna go and blend that up a little bit. Okay, so far, that, ooh, that is our look. Yeah, I ordered an eyeliner but they didn't have it in the store. Let me put my lashes on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. My lashes are on. This is what our eyes are looking like so far. I think it looks pretty good so far. I do. Okay, so I'm gonna put a primer on because that's what I wanna do. <laughs> I'm gonna put a primer on so we can try this new foundation that I have. I don't have a new primer. There was no primers out that made me say, oh, I wanna try you, so I didn't. I'm gonna go with this one right here. This Tarte Double Duty Hydrating Base Tape Primer. I'm gonna use this, so I like this one. And this way, I'll give my lashes <laughs> a chance to dry. This primer smells so, so good. What do you guys think about for these eyes so far? Any of you guys have this Makeup by Mario's, the neutrals, or the other one? Let me show you what the other one is. This one is the Master Matte Eyeshadow, period. He said, these are my 12 universal matte shades. Each deliver smooth, luxurious, highly blendable color inspired by human skin tones. So I just want to show you real fast these side by side while I let my 
lashes dry. So look, those colors are pretty. I just never thought that they would work for me. Like I swatched them in the store and I was like, oh, okay. So this is them side by side. And I tried this one first because I figured if this one worked and these shades are lighter, then this one should definitely work. So yeah. So I just want to show you guys those. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my foundation. I was gonna try a different one, so my opening actually said that I was gonna try this one right here, the Urban Decay Face Bond, which I really wanna try, but because this one says you don't need a powder and I wanted to try these new powders, I figured we will try this one. So this one is the Prada Enzole Sunscreen Broad Spectrum 17. It's called Prada Reveal Skin Optimizing Foundation. Augmented complexion. Instantly unify skin with an all day soft matte, seamless and flexible coverage. Optimizes light diffusion in real life and on screen with the IRL micro filter technology. Blurs the look of pores and fine lines. Over time, it improves overall skin look. Skin feels moisturized, diffusing a healthy glow and refined skin texture. It said evaluated on bare skin by women and men after two weeks of usage. Responsible beauty, reload and reduce. When reloaded with a consciously designed product refill, this reusable protective case contributes to a more responsible use of resources. By reloading your case with a refill, you may use 62% less packaging compared to repurchasing a full foundation. I like that. So this is the box. It is a one fluid ounce bottle, and this is the refillable one. This foundation retails for $70, <laughs> but you know what? I wanted to try it. The color looks like it's gonna be very, very pretty. I have shade, I should have told you from the box, right? I have shade number DC70, which is cool undertone, dark tone. So I think that our primer should be good. This color looks like it's very neutral. So we're gonna see, oh, let me show you. This is actually a glass bottle and it's in a plastic. And I hope that this is shatter resistant. It says Prada on both sides. It looks very expensive, but I like the fact that this is a glass bottle. Skin Optimizing Foundation. Yeah, I'm excited to try this. I wanted to try it when it came out, but I was like, you know what? For $70, I'll wait for the sale. Oh, that color. That color looks so pretty. I'm gonna use this brush by Makeup by Ariel, the A58 brush. Look at that. It's liquidy, but not super runny. It actually has a little bit of thickness to it. So we're going to, oh, it has a smell. I guess that's the, I guess that's the sunscreen. The color, <laughs> oh my God, the color is gorgeous. When I tell you, I ordered this online, right? So you know, a lot of times when they have the colors online, you can't really tell what's what, but I like it. This color is gorgeous. Now let's check out the coverage, cause you know how I feel about coverage under my chin. That to me lets me know what kind of coverage I'm gonna receive from a foundation. I like it. It's not a full coverage from what I could see. It looks like it's medium. Let me put this little bit up here at the, in my forehead. I need a little bit more. I'm gonna go on to the Sephora website and see if this is full coverage because it doesn't say it on the box. Yeah, the smell, it has like a sunscreen, but kind of coconut smell. I don't have any of Prada's like perfumes or anything, so I couldn't tell you if it smells like one of their perfumes. It's not super perfumey, but it does have a fragrance. It's so beautiful on the skin. It has a beautiful, natural look about it, and it's crazy because I didn't want to like it. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to like another foundation. I have about 50 foundations. I was like, I don't want to like another foundation, but just look at how gorgeous and skin-like and spot on this color is. I love it. When you are high-end brand like this, you gotta come correct. Just look at how beautiful the pores look. They look gorgeous. I'm loving that. This foundation comes in 33 shades. It has five stars, medium coverage, matte finish, liquid, vitamin E, niacinamide, lactobacillus extract, 
complex. It says this soft matte foundation delivers medium coverage and transfer resistant wear for up to 24 hours. Breathable and buildable formula with broad spectrum SPF 17 sunscreen improves the look of skin tone, enhances skin's natural radiance and hydration, and visibly refines the skin texture. So it doesn't say all of that on the box. Look how it blends it into my hand. Just so pretty. I'm loving, loving it. I mean, it's a nice amount of coverage. I just would have to put a little concealer, you know, in the areas that I need to cover up. Okay, so now we're gonna try this Tower 28 Concealer. I've been hearing so many people talk about this. I got two colors, 15 and 12. That's what they look like. They said that this concealer is like a mixture of the House Labs, I think, and an e.l.f. This is 0.65 mils, which is 0.22 US fluid ounces. It's a nice plastic component. A very small applicator, kind of flat-like. Oh, oh my God. That's so creamy and so, so... It's very liquidy, but very pigmented. Just look at that. Look at how easy that goes on. It's definitely a very ceramy but light feel. Wow, I think it is pretty good. Just the feel of it going on, it feels really nice going on. It has a light fragrance, but look how seamless it's blended into my skin. Wow, very nice, very, very nice. Look how gorgeous this blends into the skin. <laughs> and it has a nice amount of time to let it sit so you can get some coverage on it without drying too fast. Really digging this so far. It looks gorgeous. It's so creamy. I love it. It's gorgeous and it's not like super full coverage. I still see, it's always something under here with my eye. I don't know what, what it is. This little spot right here. It's like right here. But it looks beautiful. Really beautiful. And it has a nice glow to it. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. Just look at how it blended in very, very effortlessly. It really, really did. Okay, so a lot of the stores are now carrying Westman Atelier, and I purchased the Face Trace Contour Stick. They had um, lipsticks. They had a few different things, and I was like, oh, very nice. Yeah, I just have like some texture there. Sometimes my concealer doesn't stick. I'm gonna set the under eye because I don't want any problems with creasing. So far, the under eyes look gorgeous. Maybe we should give it a minute and see. I love that. No, I'm gonna set. I know my under eyes and I know that I do have fine lines. So I have purchased this right here, the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Pressed Powder. This is in the shade Translucent Deep. They actually have a lighter shade. Isn't that pretty? They actually have a lighter shade. I ordered that one too. I'm waiting for that to come. Okay, so I wanna set my under eyes. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. I love this. And I like to put this where I put my concealer. Just look at how, first of all, I can't stop saying it. And I be trying to hold my thoughts until the end of the video. But just look at that skin. Look at how gorgeous that skin looks. Okay, we're just gonna put a little bit of this powder up here. Very, very nice. Okay, now I'm going back to my Westman Atelier. This is a face trace contour stick in the color Ganache. I wanna say this retail for $48. This is metal. Okay, plastic. That's what it looks like. It says Westman Atelier around here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like embossed there and here. It's such a expensive looking product. I love it. And look at the shade. Now I wanna turn it up. In the store I didn't wanna do all of this cause I, I really wanna see how much product is in here. So it's not a whole lot, but with something like this, it will last a long time. And I just wanted to have like a really luxurious product that I purchased. So I wanted to see if this is gonna be worth the money. I don't know if it was 48 or $68. I can't remember. I think it was 48 I have to look. But it goes on nicely. It has a very moisturizing look because you can actually see the moisture. I love the shade. It's definitely enough pigmentation 
for. It's so, it don't even feel like nothing going on. It's so creamy. So yeah, I wanted to have just a nice, I like luxury products. Like I love a good luxury product. So I was like, okay, let me try it. And I like it. I'm gonna blend this out with this Morphe V108 brush. So what's so crazy is like, I wanted to get a set of brushes, right? From BK Beauty. Like I really wanted to get the brushes and it was $325 for the whole set. And I was like, oh, I really wanna get them. But then I spent my budget on, <laughs> I spent my budget. Oh, look at how nicely that went in. I spent my budget in Sephora. I'm gonna have to wait on the brushes, but I have brushes so I can wait on it. But I keep hearing everybody talk about them. So I really, really want those brushes. Like I really, really want those brushes. I don't know, I guess one day I'll treat myself. That blended in so gorgeous. Wow. Okay, they're gonna make me go back and get some more Westman Atelier. They had lipsticks and I was like, I don't know what a lipstick is gonna do that's gonna make me spend. I wanna say the lipsticks were like $48. I don't wanna spend $48 on a lipstick. Like I need to know what it's gonna do for me for $48. The colors were nice, but it was nothing spectacular about them. They were pretty colors, you know, pretty, like I think a nice peachy orange and like uh, they had some reds. They had some different colors, but it was nothing that made me say, this shade right here, I gotta have. So when I saw the bronzer, I was like, I wanna try it. Like, I wanna see what the hoopla is. Now they do have, they had a few highlighters, right? Cause it, it looks like one of those brands that have a very select amount of products, but they are very high end and very high quality. And just look at how gorgeous our skin looks and how beautiful I, I'm in love. I'm in love. <laughs> this is gorgeous. I don't know why my, voice is getting hoarse but it is but that's beautiful look at how nice that blends in just the right amount of wow it blends in so so nice i want to try a blush it's a new blush it's not like a new company or anything like that this is patrick ta blush right okay so this is not one of the new shades because when i saw it, it was three new shades and i was like None of these are geared towards me, but I fell in love with this one right here cause she's vibrant. So I saw it and I was like, I have to try that. I like his blushes and I wanna put the cream down before I put the powder down. So this is what it looks like. Isn't this color pretty? It's like a pinky coral, but it's so, so gorgeous. Yeah, this one is called She's Vibrant. I don't know if I said that, I think I did. But that's what it's called and it's so pretty. I'm gonna use this brush. This right here is a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH04. I just thought this shade was so gorgeous. So let's see. I always put the cream down first because I don't like how it makes my cheeks look on top because I have oily skin. So although the glossiness is beautiful, when the oil starts coming out on your face, you don't really, you don't really want that. But that is so, so pretty. Do you see that? Gorgeous, gorgeous. It's not too pigmented. Now, I, I think if we use the brush that was, was more of a denser brush, then you would get a more pigmented look of cream. It would be a little more, but just look at how pretty that looks. I love that, so pretty. I like that, that's this. I use the cream, gorgeous. Okay, so I wanna try this. Ami Kole, I think that's how you pronounce it. This is a talc-free, loose setting powder that instantly melts into the skin to set makeup and bring down the shine, but never the glow. Zero flashback. And this is a black-owned company. Oh, it says Harlem, New York. Okay, New York in the house. And it is made in Italy, so I guess the company is based out of Harlem. I wonder if she has an actual store, because when I go to New York next month, I might just stop in. Okay, I got color deep medium and deep rich. Oh, this is so nice. It's a plastic container, 8.5 grams, which is 0.29 ounces. I love that. That is so cute. Pull the wrapper off. That's the powder. That is the deep rich powder. I think that was the darkest one. Well, they may have one that's a little bit darker. That's kind of light, but it's nice. It's actually milk chocolatey. That's what it looks like. Oh, so wait, this has like a little lip too. Use your nail to get it or whatever you want to use. I use my nail. This looks so pretty. 
I must my brow. I gotta fix that. I'm so excited to try this because I am on the hunt for new powders, especially now that I found out that they don't have the Too Faced powder in the colors anymore. Like, I love that. I don't know how long I had those powders, but I hadn't opened them until I showed you guys in the first video about what, maybe six to eight months ago. So, bummer that they don't make the colors anymore because the formula is excellent. We're gonna use this Vanessa Myricks Puff and set our under eyes. I love this yellow color. It's definitely a nice bright yellow. It's very yellow. I haven't tried any of her other products. I saw some of them in the store. I didn't pick it up. I was like, I'm just gonna start off with the powder and then pick up, you know, a little bit at a time. Oh, I didn't show you because the powder was in it. Okay, so it has a nice little net. See the net that holds the makeup in. So you turn it upside down and then it comes out. I like it. I make sure I put enough around my nose because that's the area that gets really, really oily around my nose. All right, I'm going to go in with this chocolatey color. That's the deep rich and set the rest of the face with it. I like to put a lot of powder on my face because my skin is super oily. I don't care if it's summertime or wintertime. My routine probably changes a little bit more in the summertime is more layers and more setting spray. People put less on. If my skin wasn't oily, then I could put less on too, but right now, until I find the right product, and I'm gonna be testing out some products because I hear people say, oh, I, I go light with products in the summer, and I'm saying, girl, I go heavier <laughs> because my skin is so, so oily. So if I can go lighter, like if some of these new products that's coming out really help with oily skin and kind of balance everything, Okay, so that is our powder. Those are our two new powders. The skin looks really good with the powders on, like it did a nice job. It's very smooth, and um, I like it so far. It looks good. So I'm gonna go into this color and this color. I'm actually using the brush that had the black on it. Now what I'm not liking is the fact that this is so powdery that it's getting everywhere. I feel like a raccoon. Let me see if I can get something to get that off. I'm just gonna use this pencil from House Labs to put something in my waterline to give it a little brightness. Of course, you know, I need that brightness in my eyes. I'm gonna now take this powder, this hourglass powder in the shade Translucent Deep. Oh, it has a cute little puff. That's cute. That would be used for touch-ups. I like it. I'm gonna take this brush right here, which is the Morphe E51 brush, and I'm gonna tap into this powder, and we're gonna see how it works to give some color back to the face. Okay, so far, I like it. And I ordered a, a lighter one for under the eye, because I just wanna see like what it does. But it does have a nice amount of coverage. Yeah, it does have a nice amount of coverage. Now, I like this shade. Why didn't they make the loose powder the shade? Because the loose powder is not this shade. Very nice. I'm gonna set with this Danessa Myrick Set It Forever Mist Oil Controlling Setting Spray. I'm gonna use that. And then I'll put mis mascara on. Okay, so it's still a little damp. So far, the skin is looking very gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. Let's put our mascara on. This is the full frontal lash from Fenty. I really love this mascara. It's so good. use this to do oh this is magnetic look I don't think I said that <laughs> I didn't realize it until just now but yeah okay let's see about do you see how smooth 
this is. How it just blooms effortlessly. I don't have a new powder bronzer. I'll use this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in shade four. That's this right here. So yeah, this is a nice bronzer as well. Definitely a different shade than the bronzer that we put on. It's more of a ready undertone and I may go in with a little something deeper just to give it a little contour because this is very red. What are we thinking so far? I think it looks pretty good. I'm just gonna contour here. I'm just gonna stamp in under the eyes. Okay, so let's go back into the Patrick Ta and go into the powder now. Oh, that powder is gorgeous. Do you see that? Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Just, you guys are going to, <laughs> you're going to want this. You are going to want this because it is so gorgeous. Do you, oh my God, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Look at the sheen that the blush has. It's so gorgeous. And just look at how my skin is looking. I'm just gonna pat this in over here. I'm gonna use this. Sephora matte foundation in the color 65N. And I'm just gonna bronze a little bit with this deeper color. Because I don't feel like I can see the bronzer. I'm just gonna bronze it a little bit. You see how? Yeah. That's gorgeous. Oh, I didn't show you the color. That's the color. This is Sephora Collection matte foundation in the color 65 and it's not a bronzer but you can use it as a bronzer do you see the sheen that is on this blush like every time i turn my head i'm just like look at this blush it's gorgeous gorgeous i'm gonna spray my face one more time with this Vanessa myricks setting spray okay that's looking good i'm gonna get a highlighter and a lip and I will be right back. So far I'm loving it. Everything looks beautiful. Okay, so I um, wanna do a highlighter now, right? So this is not really a highlighter. This is one of the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush as my highlighter slash topper. It's in the color Joy. I didn't wanna go too dark. These little blushes are so cute. I love the packaging, it's adorable. This is 2.8 grams, which is 0.98 ounces, so it's actually almost one ounce of product. So we're gonna use this. These soft pinch blushes are so gorgeous. I think I bought four of the shades, but this is gorgeous. So we're gonna see, it's very powdery, but it doesn't look that way. And it just gives a beautiful glow to the skin. Just like a glow from within. With this kind of blush, you don't need a highlighter. It's just so, so pretty. Yeah, that is so, so gorgeous. That's what it looks like after you dip into it. It's just so, so pretty. And it's very much a highlighter. It's not really like a blush. It has a nice amount of pigment, but it's very much a highlighter. Do you see that? It just gives you a beautiful glow from within kind of look. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more on because I love it. Like, I really, really love it. Okay, that's so pretty. Put a little bit on the tip of my nose. I love that. Okay, so now we're gonna do a lip and then I'm gonna comb my hair. I think it's gorgeous. Like, I feel like, I feel like we need something else. I don't know, I feel like maybe like an inner corner highlight. I'll take this and I'm gonna do an inner corner highlight. Maybe that'll help something. I think what it is is these matte, the matte shadows are just very, <laughs> they're very matte. So we need something else that's gonna give us a little pop or something. I still think the makeup looks a little plain. I'm gonna go in with this powder. I feel like the under eyes look a little dark. I'm gonna use this Airbrush Flawless Powder. I'm just blending this powder in a little bit more. 
It's so crazy because I think I bought one item for the lips. Like one actual color item for the lips. So I'm going to use this. This is the Mocha Matte Lip again from House Labs. Okay, so I talked about this in the last video. This is the Deep Cocoa Matte from House Labs. I'm gonna use this as my lip liner. That's a pretty liner. I'm gonna take this and put here. I feel like we need something to brighten the face up because the face is looking a little dark to me. Let me comb my hair and I will be right back to go over our makeup that we tried. Okay, so I don't know why I feel like this makeup looks dark. It's probably nice makeup, but I feel like it looks dark. I'm gonna put a little bit of highlighter on. I bought a new highlighter by House Labs. I usually love their highlighters. This one is a silvery color. This one is called Moonstone. This is the packaging. And I'm just gonna try a little bit of Moonstone just to see if it makes me feel any happier. Cause I hate when I do my makeup and I'm not happy. That is the gorgeous color. Let's see. I think I like that better. See the difference in the side? I just think, yeah. Okay, I like that a little bit better. It just brings like a little bit of brightness to the face. I'm gonna put a little gloss on these lips. And this is our final look. I don't love this makeup. I think it looks okay. I think I'm not used to seeing myself with a matte eye like this. And I like my eyes to pop. These eyes are just there. So I think that, you know, everything looks good. But I don't feel happy about it. Really. Okay, I'm going to go over everything that we use and just give you my thoughts on everything individually, not this look as a whole. So I'm going to start with the eyeshadow because that's what we're talking about now. I think the eyeshadow palette is a nice palette for somebody that likes a matte eye look. That's not me. These are like super, super matte. This is what the palette looks like. I think it's a nice palette, but it's just not for me. I don't like it. Not that the formula is not wonderful because it is. The shadows blend very nicely, but I would use this in conjunction with something with a shimmer because I just, I don't know. Like it's not making me happy. Maybe if I add something to it, like a little white. Let's see. One of these bright colors up here. I'm gonna put the white on it and see. Okay, it might be a little bit better. I don't love this makeup, and it's specifically because I don't like the eyeshadow. Not the eyeshadow itself. I don't like. I don't like looks without shimmer, right? Or not so much a shimmer, but color. This is really very neutral. I'm not used to neutral. This is very, very neutral. I'm not happy with the look. It's not the eyeshadow palette. It's me. I'm not used to working with neutrals because neutrals are not really my thing. I think it looks nice, but I don't love it. So we're gonna keep going. I think the Makeup by Mario palette was very nice. I'm gonna try it a few more times, but I don't know if I love it. And I'm not gonna crack open the other one until I know that I really like this one because our skin is looking gorgeous, right? Our skin is looking very gorgeous. Let me tell you what I put on the skin if you missed anything. If you missed anything, I will make sure I'm linking everything in the description box. I used a primer from Tarte Double Duty Hydrating Base Tape Primer. This is it. That's what we have on our skin. The skin is looking gorgeous. Then I used the Prada Foundation 
This foundation is really gorgeous, guys, on the skin. So I think that foundation is gorgeous. The color was spot on. It's beautiful on the skin. I really do love this foundation. I can't wait to try it again. If you wanna see a review of this foundation and a wear test, please let me know so I can make that happen for you. It's getting warmer. So we wanna see if we can wear this expensive $70 foundation. If we can get 12 or 16 hours out of it, then we're gonna be happy. I tried these Ame Cole powders. I think that they are okay. They didn't wow me. And I could just tell by the way my skin is looking that they didn't wow me. They didn't give me that same smoothness that I get with my Danessa, yeah, Danessa Myricks too. They didn't give me that smoothness that I get with Danessa Myricks and that I get with Too Faced. It's just a nice powder. It didn't make a super bright under eye, even though I left the powder on there. I think it's okay. It's not one of my favorites, not at all. I mean, I'm gonna try it again, but I am not loving it as of right now. I think that it's too thin for my skin. I usually don't like powders that are talc free. That's the issue. It just doesn't have the same kind of smoothness on the skin. So yeah, I don't really love these powders. I use this Patrick Ta blush in the shade She's Vibrant. The blush is gorgeous. It is a very pinky coral kind of color. I love it. It looks beautiful on the skin. The cream is beautiful, the powder is beautiful. I love it on the skin, so yeah, we have that on. We use the Tower 28 Concealer. I really like the way the concealer look under the eyes, but I think it's the powder. So I wanna try these Tower 28 Concealers on their own. I only use one of them today, but yeah, I wanna try it on its own to see if it is gonna give me what I'm looking for. I heard really good things about it, but I'm not loving it. See a lot of creasing under my eyes. That last video I did, you didn't see that. Like, it's just a lot of creasing. And then I have the dark shadow smoked out under the eye. I don't usually like really super dark stuff like this under my eye. So there's just a lot of things that are going against these new products because I don't love it. So I think the, the concealer looked very nice before I set it. We're gonna, we're gonna keep trying it because, you know, that's what we do. Okay, I tried this Hourglass powder in the shade Translucent Deep and it was actually really a pretty color. I'm not gonna say that it did anything special on my face. To me, it's not like, I mean, the skin looks beautiful, but it was beautiful when I had just the foundation on it. I think the powder was nice. It didn't do what a lot of my other powders do. It's a lot lighter, and I don't love it. I'm, it's my first time trying it, so I'm gonna keep trying it and see how it makes me feel, but right now, I'm not loving it. I don't know, I don't know why. I'm just, I'm just not loving it. Now, I did love this. This Westman Atelier Face Trace Contour Stick. It was beautiful. It was very easy to blend. It was very easy to blend and it melted like butter. It only took a few swipes for it to blend into the skin. I thought this was gorgeous. This was very, very nice. So far the foundation and the bronzer, I love. Even the concealer, I love the concealer and I also love the blush. I set my skin with this Danessa Myrick Set It In Forever Oil Control Setting Mist. I use this. Charlotte Tilbury under my eyes to set the under eyes along with that Amy Cole powder. I didn't, I didn't love it. I didn't love it. And I also used this right here. The Ula Hendrickson Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. It felt really good on the lips. It was very pigmented, very moisturizing, and it lasts the whole time I was doing my makeup, so I like that. I did use this brow freeze on my brows from Anastasia of Beverly Hills, and I used this House Labs highlighter. I thought it was nice. It kind of woke up the face a little bit. I hope I like this makeup better when I am, when I'm editing, but right now, I, I don't love this makeup at all. Like, I really don't love it. Oh, I used the Rare Beauty powder blush in the shade Joy. I thought it was very nice. It's very much a highlighter, and I felt like this added a little bit of texture 
to my cheeks when I put it on because it was just so sparkly. I'm not sure there's any sparkle in it. I don't see any sparkle in it. It looks really pretty. I mean, it's definitely a nice highlighter. It definitely has my skin beaming, but I don't, you know, I have to just try it a few more times because sometimes some of these things are just a little too shimmery for somebody with textured, oily skin and in large pores in the um, cheek area. I want to say that's everything that I use, guys. Oh, I use the Mocha Matte Lip Pencil and then the House Labs Optic Intensity Echo Liner. It's actually an eyeliner, but I used it on my lips. I love it. I think it's a perfect liner shade. <laughs> that's it. Anything else that I missed, I will have it linked in the description box but yeah guys that is what I that's what I have going on hopefully you guys enjoyed this video you are my precious jewels I love you guys please let me know in the comment section what you purchased from the sale if you purchased anything also leave me a comment in the comment section let me know your thoughts on this makeup please give the video a thumbs up and also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. And I'm going to link like a playlist or something up here in case you want to watch more of my videos. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And today I'm going to tell you, you are fearless. Yeah, you are fearless. So that's it, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this makeup. Have you tried any of these products? And, um, yeah. Okay. <laughs>